These are the ingredients that we'll be using to make some snickerdoodle cookies. You need some flour, sugar, vanilla extract, cinnamon, two eggs, salt, cream of tartar, which is like one of the key ingredients for this recipe. You need some baking soda and you need two sticks of butter. I'm gonna start off by adding two and three fourths cups of flour. Here is the first cup of flour. This is the second cup. Now I need two thirds. Next, I will add in two teaspoons of cream of tartar. This is the main ingredient needed when making snickerdoodle cookies. So let's open this up. Here's one, two. Here's a tip, put everything away as you go. Mix it for easy cleanup. One teaspoon of baking soda. You need a half a teaspoon of salt just a half add it in there all right and then you're just gonna mix that all in together just like this and these are gonna be your dry ingredients all right so just make sure everything is well mixed in there and here's a tip while you're making everything preheat your oven at 350 that way when everything's ready to go your oven is also ready here are the dry ingredients I'm gonna set them to the side in a separate bowl you're going to mix together your butter Here's one stick. And you want your butter to be barely softened, not completely soft, and it's not completely right out of the fridge. One cup of sugar. If you want more sugar, you can add a half cup more. And you need two eggs. There's one, two, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Vanilla extract is very concentrated, so you only need one, just like that. These are the wet ingredients. I'm gonna mix these. Once your wet ingredients look like this, you're going to add in the dry ingredients. So I'm gonna add them in. Now that I added them in there, I'm gonna mix them. Your cookie batter should look like this. In the separate bowl, you're gonna make your cinnamon sugar coating. So you need a third cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, one, two, and you're just gonna mix that up just like this you got your cinnamon sugar coating mm, it smells good y'all and make sure the cinnamon is well mixed in there it looks like it's well mixed in now i'm going to start making the cookies once your dough is done you're going to chill it for 20 to 30 minutes you want to cover your dough and then you want to chill it 30 minutes later and our dough is chilled if you have a cookie scooper that's great if not just um use like a spoon a spoon and then you're gonna make a ball out of it so i'm gonna put it in my hand all right y'all so the dough was not rolling into a ball it was very smooshy that you would almost think that this is not gonna turn into a cookie but i ended up just placing it on the pan which you will see in a bit and trust the process y'all I have lined my pan. I put a little bit of cooking spray just so the cookies don't stick. So as you can see, it's still gonna be kind of messy. Even though we chilled it for a little bit, it's still gonna, see, it's still gonna be soft. So if you have a cookie scoop, great. If not, you could just get a spoon and just put it on the pan, just like this. So you just wanna scoop it out like that. I know it's not a perfect ball, but uh, y'all, it's gonna flatter once you put it inside the oven, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It will, it will become a cookie. Trust me. Trust the process, y'all. Just like that. You wanna leave them like an inch or two apart. And then with one of the small measuring spoons, like the one fourth or however much, you just. You want to sprinkle some of your cinnamon sugar coating on top, just like this. All right, and now I'm going to pop it into the oven for 10 minutes. First batch I did, I just didn't put enough cinnamon sugar, but as you can see, it does have cinnamon sugar in there. You see how they came out to the shape of a cookie, y'all? I love snickerdoodle cookies, y'all. 
And here is the second batch. As you can see, it's more coated. And I told you all, they form into cookies, so not to worry if it was in the ball. Yum, it smells so good, y'all. So you want to let them chill and finish cooking for like, I would say like five minutes before you take them off the pan. And then you can enjoy. Yum. That was all the dough that was left over, so I'm just going to attempt to make a big cookie. This is the third batch. It smells so good. It tastes so good. See? Trust the process, y'all. It didn't have to be a ball. With a spatula, you want to gently place it underneath the cookie and look at how easily they slide off.